Hello everyone, in this quick video, I will show you how you can publish or deploy your custom copilot agents to Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365 so that your users can use it. And the bonus here, I will also use starter prompts. It's a new feature in Copilot Studio so that your users can better get better idea about your agent. Let's first review what we are trying to achieve in this video. In my last episode, I basically built an autonomous agent uh, triggered by the email, and then it would generate a response to e user email and reply back to them. This time, we are trying to deploy our agent to Microsoft Teams so that people can use it. So if we open Teams, now you can see this is the starter prompt. Users can basically go ahead and use this. And if you look at here, view prompts, this is also the starter prompts that defined by myself in Copilot Studio. Same way, if I open Microsoft 365 Copilot, the agent appears on the right corner, the list of agents, and here are the starter prompts. So let's go back to Copilot Studio. So if you scroll down, now you will see under the topics here, you will see starter prompts. Um, sometimes when you start, when you create agent, Copilot Studio automatically suggests some prompts and I would recommend just review them and if necessary, update them. But right now I actually uh, updated them because they weren't tailored to my use case. And I have three user prompts and uh, if you want, you can also add up to six. This capability already exists in Microsoft 365 Copilot. So for example, if I come here, create an agent, let's say career coach and configure. Now you can see a list of the uh, starter prompts, but this is new to Copilot Studio. So I'll go back here. So I'm happy with the three starter prompts. I'll just click save. Then every time you made any uh, update and you want your users to see it, then you would need to publish it. I'll just click publish while it's been published. Let's go to channels. And here we can see a list of the channels that we can deploy our agent so that people can use it. For this demo, I'll uh, use Teams plus Microsoft 365 uh, channel. By the way, if you notice here, this was only Teams maybe a week or two weeks ago. Now it says Teams plus Microsoft 365. The reason, let's click on that, it's the process is more seamless right now. When you deploy it to Teams, you can actually click this and check, we'll put the check mark. And this way, while it's been deployed to Teams, this will also be available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you select this, if not, this will not appear. On the agent preview, you will have edit details, click on this. This way you can change the background color and change the icon. So if you have icon uh, you already added for your agent in Copilot Studio, so you will need to upload it here as well. For some reason, it doesn't sync the progress. And here are the short description and long description. I see some people skip this. If you are working at the large organization, this is going to be actually mandatory for you because um, the IT departments, they need to know the purpose of the agent. And just add short description, add long description, for example, what's the purpose of the agent, what it does, and so on. And if you scroll bottom, you will see Tim's setting, decide where and how your agent should function in Tim's. You can define whether users can add this agent to a team or use this agent for group or meeting chats. If you click more, this time you will see other actions like developer name. This is myself, I put myself here. You can add, if you have any SharePoint link uh, for 
helpful resources you can add it here and the privacy statement this is another important point here because using agents sometimes you may um, basically uh, use some user credentials let's say users first name last name id so this way it would be very uh, helpful if you put the privacy statement here or link so that users can see okay these are the information that while i am using the agent i'm actually sharing this internally with my it department so once you are happy click save now if let's also review this one availability options once you share this with the people you can send a copy link and share them but also you can decide who you want to show your agent to show to my teammates and shared users appears and built by your colleagues if you click and now you can manually define who can use this let's say and once you do that there is actually a copilot studio gives you a suggestion so so far if you are new for in copilot studio uh, you should always use solutions that's a very important concept basically you would create solution in power apps and inside that you would create agents so that way you can do the application lifecycle management so from dev to qa and from qa to um, production and the process is very seamless actually using pipelines and power platform so i would i will put this link about solutions please check that out because it's very important and here you can define the user's roles for example let's write now viewer and you can also assign editor per access this way they can view edit configure share and publish the agent but they can delete it um, they can also power automate user they can create and add flows to the agent especially in the action sections or trigger so if we go back now let's say send an email if you want and you can share it perfect it's shared now if i go back here let me exit from here click teams one more time now see agent in teams use the web app instead now if you look at here it those information that we provided it's right here agent built by Rafsan Hussainov overview you can see the uh, short description here this is what we provided and this is the long description um, here are the app features basically and that's it so this is what people they need to know when you share the application for them with uh, agent with them so exit now if i go to open the agent i can simply select for example tracking project tra project status I, if i click all I need now click the send by the way if you select any prompt it doesn't automatically trigger the agent uh, so you still need to click send button to get the response back perfect to track the stats of your project in my app go to the request section and etc perfect and if i click here you can see this is coming from our user guide so similar way i can just simply come to microsoft 365 copilot here is my agent i can select um, the starter prompts here for example and then this will basically um, activate the agent and agent will create the response from our knowledge source perfect this is how you can add starter prompts to agents built in copilot studio and publish it to microsoft teams and microsoft 365 hope this was helpful 
if you like tutor this tutorial please um, give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments and i will happily reply them back thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one